The DA's motion of no confidence against the National Assembly Speaker, Nosvia Mapisa Nagula, will go ahead. The party's chief whip, Sevua Kwahube, proposed the motion to remove her from office, citing allegations of improper conduct. Acting Speaker Lechisa Tsenoli has accepted the motion, even though Parliament has yet to announce a date for when it will be heard. Mapisa Nagura is accused of receiving millions in kickbacks from a contractor during her tenure as Defence Minister. Yesterday, she filed an urgent interdict to halt her arrest on corruption allegations and judgment is expected next week. In the meantime, she has taken leave of absence. Joining me now is the DA's Chief Whip. Sivue, good evening. Thanks very much for your time. The statement says you had no option but to submit this formal motion. Why? Good uh, afternoon, Vuyo, and good afternoon to your viewers. Of course, um, we last week already had started calling for the speaker to uh, not just step aside or take special leave, but to actually resign. And our, our reasoning is simple. The, the rules of the National Assembly and the rules of Parliament envisage a, a leader of the, the legislative arm of state to be somebody that is beyond reproach, somebody that will not erode the public trust um, that the public ought to have in the institution. And to have the Speaker of the National Assembly accused of these grave allegations, have her house raided, and now, of course, is facing these 12 counts of corruption and money laundering um, and uh, allegations, simply says that this is somebody who is no longer suited to, to, have the, to hold that office. And so we asked for her to, 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 to resign, but clearly the Speaker is digging in her heels, and that leaves us with no choice but to submit a formal motion of no conflict. So we are pleased that this afternoon, this morning, the Deputy Speaker, who is now the Acting Speaker, has acceded to our request. And now the next battle for us is to have this matter heard as soon as possible because the rules, in effect, also state that a motion to remove a Speaker or a Deputy Speaker needs to be heard urgently. But uh, I mean, Parliament is about to rise. The term of office of all current parliamentarians is about to come to an end uh, ahead of the May 29 election. Why not, for example, just let the uh, deputy um, speaker, who is currently uh, the acting uh, speaker, just continue until then? Because we're, this is about accountability and this is about holding people to account. And so ultimately, if we simply say that we just allow for the expiration of the term of office, we are saying that as Parliament we are not concerned with the allegations that the Speaker is facing and that we don't hold our own to account. We are the very institution that is entrusted with holding the executive to account. We often say that it's not good enough that people are simply let go of and that they don't face the music. And so it's important not only for the record, but for precedence. And it's important for South Africans to see Parliament holding people to account. The Speaker's not suited. She's refused to resign. Had she resigned, it would be a completely different scenario. But she's refused to resign, and so she must then be removed from, from office because of, of her um, inability to instill confidence in, in effect in the institution. And so we can't just let the expiration of the term determine how we, de we deal with this. We've got to hold people accountable. Otherwise, then we are nothing, um, you know, we are just as the Zondo Commission described Parliament, as simply an ineffective institution. The likelihood of this succeeding, given the ANC's majority? Look, we, uh, as of uh, two days ago, have written to all political parties represented in Parliament, including the ANC, Vuyo, because we believe that if the ANC is unable to uh, effectively force the, the, or, or convince the Speaker to resign, then they have an option to submit, uh, to, to, to support our motion of no confidence. And if they don't, Vuyo, as they, we have seen in the past, them coming across and, uh, and defending um, uh, uh, petitions who are found wanting, then they need to explain to the people of South Africa why it is 
that they think this is somebody who's still suited to head up the institution, then they, the public must hold them to account. Uh, but we are not going to essentially um, shirk off our responsibility because the ANC routinely uses its numbers to shield people from accountability.